What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a special video for you guys. You know, ladies and gentlemen, 2020 so far has probably been, like, probably one of the worst starts to a year ever in the history of the entire world. You know, it's pretty hard to compete with it, given the times, given everything that's going on in the world, the passing of Kobe Bryant, my all-time favorite player, probably athlete of all time, the pandemic going around the world, my precious alley cat going to heaven. I mean, it's been a rough one. Not saying that I'm not blessed and highly favored because I am. I have the most beautiful wife. I have the most beautiful son. I have an amazing family. I have all of you guys. And there are so many more things to be thankful for. But today, guys, we are going to be taking a closer look at some of the better things in 2020. We're going to take a look at the best custom WWE action figures from 2020 so far. You know, this point in the year, so many things have happened that have been on the negative side, but I truly believe that we are approaching the 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 comeuppance. We're about to see a shift and change very, very soon in the outcome, and we are going to be on the other side of this looking back saying, damn, bro, look what we just made it through. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and dive into this. I'm going to showcase the best custom action figures this far in 2020. I got customizers. I got customs from all over the globe in this thing. So let's go ahead and dive in. I'm super excited. So I guess we can start off with this one right here guys it is this fantasy attire Finn Balor from my boy Rodney and Rodney actually let me know just recently that uh, he doesn't know if he is going to be customizing very much longer which is very unfortunate because he is putting out gems like this this white fantasy attire gray and white Finn Balor this beautiful head sculpt I love this figure he sent me this as fan mail thank you so much Rod this thing is such a beast I had to include it I, I know that you probably made this in 2019 but I didn't receive it until 2020 so I I'm going to count it in 2020, and I'm going to put this hoe in here because it's absolutely beautiful. What a perfect specimen. I love the tights. You got the BC logo right there. It's hand-painted. You know, Rodney doesn't use decals. He hand-paints everything. He's a G. This Finn, Finn Balor goes right in there. And I guess we might as well start off with both of Rodney's customs because they're both so beautiful. And this pink attire, Finn Balor, is so sick, man. If he ever wore this in October, maybe, for breast cancer awareness or something, I would lose my freaking mind. The pink, the the gray and the white and the black shoes all tie it together, man. And the BC logo again right there. You even have the triangle pattern here. I mean, he nailed it, dude. Like, if you want somebody to make fantasy attires, Rodney is your guy. I would I would commission stuff from him if he's currently taking customs. Dude is freaking outstanding. I love Rodney so much, and he is a gem to the guys here at the channel. The guys, I mean myself. I'm, I'm one man running this ship. But this pink Finn Balor is absolutely fantastic. You must include it when you talk about the best customs of 2020 thus far. Let's get into a tag team guys we do have a tag team coming in and it is the jurassic express we have jurassic express jungle boy and luchasaurus i'm sure we're going to get official aew figures of these guys very very soon or at least you know shown images hopefully you know with everything going on we don't get any cancellations we don't get any delays in those figures because we really need to have our aew unrivaled collection released because i can't wait to review them for you guys i'm super hyped man when they first release bro they're going to be ridiculous but i hope to see a luchasaurus source my favorite tag team probably in all of AEW and, and definitely one of my favorite top superstars is Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy is a freaking beast as well so I hope to get official figures of these guys very soon but they're definitely my favorite custom so far. BEW did make those head sculpts and I did from the neck down and I'm pretty proud of those. I think they look pretty fan freaking sick nasty farticles. Next up guys is an X7 WrestleMania 17 Jeff Hardy and it looks so good obviously this is from, this is basically the battle pack converted into an elite the uh, the WrestleMania Battle Pack with Edge and Jeff Hardy. I took the basic head sculpt and some Elite 57 arms or some Elite um, entrance crates arms. Put those on to the ringside exclusive Jeff Hardy. Put a custom shirt from Custom Figure Shirts, who's a great shirt maker. Put his shirt over there with the you know the mesh. Uh, obviously these sleeves need to be a little bit longer, but you know what? I'm not I'm not going to deduct football points as we say. I think it looks great and it's a great Jeff Hardy. I love Jeff Hardy. I also read up that Jeff Hardy was supposed to be the replacement for Roman Reigns and that uh, he was supposed to win that matchup and be Universal Champion. How much better would that have been than freaking Jan Strowman? Jesus Christ, man. I would have lost my damn mind Jeff Hardy been Universal Champion and beat Goldberg, Oldberg, stay at Homeberg. Well, let's get out of that, guys. Let's move on to some customs. We got the custom Young Bucks from Hell's Gate in the pink and zebra attire. Very basic, you know. Uh, I, I'm not big on making customs over and over, you know, so making a custom twice like this was difficult. I'm not big on making the same custom twice, but for tag teams that have matching gear, you really don't have any choice, right? You got to go ahead and do 
it. I do have a little bit of paint chipping on there because they had that freaking gauntlet over there with the uh, with the Wyatt Colt over at Hell's Gate. But I had a ton of fun making this, and I knew as soon as I saw the new Tyler Breeze way back in the day, I said I gotta make a pink and black uh, zebra striped Young Bucks figures to match the tassels and the wrist tape. So I went ahead and did that. You got your Young Bucks, your MDT Tag Team Champions. Want to put those guys in the video? Next up, guys, is a funny custom slash fantasy thing. We got the Super Cena figure, which is so sick. I made a whole video on how you can make this yourself. If you guys want to go check out that video, it is up for you on the channel. I think it's how to make a custom Super Cena figure or something like that. I don't freaking know, but it looks good. You got the DC Multiverse Superman figure, and all we did was add the basic 100 John Cena. I am thinking about sticking something inside the peg hole so that it doesn't freaking, you know, turn into a freaking fidget spinner. Throwing it back to 2016, 17, whenever fidget spinners were a thing. Here in 2020, and I guess if you if you look at everything going on, you'd probably be like, take me back to 2016, damn it. But this John Cena figure is super fun. I, I put him up on my Cena shelf. He looks great. He stands out, and I had to add a, a Super Cena to my collection. So I am going to fix that head, though, so it's tight when you turn it, you know, so we don't run into any, you know, football trouble. But there's John Cena, and he is difficult to stand. I'm not going to bullshit with you. I'm not going to, you know, mess around. That John Cena figure, his ankles are weird, and it's not the John Cena's fault, you know? It's not his fault. It's the, it's the Superman figure. So, next up, we do have a 2015 Seth Rollins fix-up using the basic 102 head sculpt, and I call this a custom because we do have not only part switching, but we do have the paint hair, the paint hair, with the paint added to the hair, and it looks good, man. I really like this a lot. We did also switch out the knee pads with open knee pads, and they look great. This is exactly how we look coming into the match versus John Cena at SummerSlam. The only thing I would say is that I do need to put the WWE Championship on him to put him on the display. I thought about expanding my display and putting, you know how I have them in like chronological order or timeline order from start of their career, from the start of their career to the current day. I thought about like making the shelves wider and a little bit, you know, longer so that I can do like moments, you know, like have this on display with the WWE Championship doing his entrance or something like that. And then like as the moments go on, like put my the moment where Seth Rollins won the money in the bank, have him on top of a ladder, you know, securing the briefcase, and then, you know, different moments like that. I thought that would be really, really sick, but I don't know. I, I guess we'll just have to see about that, but there is our Seth Rollins. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, is a custom elite Matt Riddle, and we do know that we are getting an official Matt Riddle in a white attire, but I gotta be honest with you, I don't know how I feel about the formula they chose for that. You know, we're gonna have to see until official images are leaked of the figure, but it looks like they're gonna go with the full Kerry Von Erich elite, you know, entire render, which I hope that's not true. I feel like that torso's too ripped up. Even though Matt Riddle's ripped, I feel like this fits his body shape a little bit more. I feel like the arms are, you know, pretty freaking jacked as well. And those thighs and the ankles are massive. He looks like he has cankles and he has like these just ginormous thighs. I don't know. I, I really like this formula a little bit better. Hopefully that official elite is okay and it's not a huge, you know, deal. Hopefully, you know, maybe that figure will be on ball joints. Maybe it'll be easy to, to get the bro on there. Or maybe it won't, you know, require so many part changes or something like that. But this custom Matt Riddle is very easy to make. And I still think in thinking about making a custom elite Matt Riddle tutorial video. Like if you guys want to see how to make a custom Matt Riddle, please let me know. I'll definitely do that. It's it's very simple. I've talked about it a hundred times and we may have even done it on a surgery. I can't remember, but the Matt Riddle does look good. And you know, that's your NXT tag team champion as far as I know still. So Matt Riddle's looking fire. Next up guys, we do have another Seth Rollins and this one is our survival. Survivor Series 2019 from Matt Decals. This one is fire, man. This is so sick. The Chicago Bulls inspired attire. Hopefully we don't get this from Mattel, man, because I don't want it from Mattel. I want the custom. I want the custom to supersede the official figure because I want to keep this on my shelf. I mean, I'd still hold on to it. It's not like I get rid of it or anything. But once the official Mattel figure comes out, I just feel like I'm being gypped. You know, it's I don't know. It's just bull crap. So hopefully Mattel gives us an attire I don't have, like the Avengers gear or a WrestleMania 34 or the Thanos gear that we should have got, but it looks like we're probably going to get WrestleMania 35. Would have been much better. So this is why I did not vote for this attire because I want to keep the custom made by Mac. It looks so much better than what Mattel can give us the formula as well. So we're just going to 
have to see. But there is our Survivor Series 2019 by Mac Decals. What a freaking assassin's mentality right there. Next, guys, we have a Bobby Trashley. Now, this one can be chopped up to a custom because it does have some paint. You know, we did switch around a ton of parts. It's like a Frankenstein effort here. But we did take the boots and paint in this black because it had so much chipping. So I figured, you know, that's a custom. It's one more figure to add. And it's a good-looking Trashley, you know, fix-up slash custom. I don't know how long Bobby Trashley is going to be rocking the long tights, but I definitely prefer him in the biker trunks and these, you know, this style attire. I like the, him in this rather than the long tights. I guess he's following the path of his boy Leo Rush, I guess, you know, switching to the long tights. I really wish guys would stop doing that. I think for some people it works. Like, I think Jericho should have never switched to these shorter trunks. But see, Leo Rush and Cedric Alexander, guys like that, I like them better in the shorter shorts. Like, if Finn Balor came out in full-length tights, I'd be like, what the hell is going on? Like, that would look dumb, man. Seth Rollins fits better in longer tights. When he was Tyler Black and he had these style tights, you know, with the, the, the I don't even know what to call it. You know, the Speedo gear or whatever you want to say. The longer tights definitely look better on Rollins. Next, guys, we have to add our monster Braun Strowman made by BEW. At least the head sculpt is made by BEW. I love this head sculpt. I think it don't fall over, Matt Riddle. What are you doing, bro? Come on. We got Braun Strowman right here. Again, the, the monster Braun Strowman made from the dream sequence. Jason Mask looks so good. I love this custom. I think it's great. Him and Kane are going to run rampant in that tag team division. It looks like they have their sights set on those tag titles. I'm excited for that. I do not think uh, the rest of the tag team division is excited, but this this freaking Braun Strowman with the custom long hair and mask is so freaking menacing. I need. I wanted to do something for his attire, but I couldn't figure out anything. So if you guys have any cool ideas, let me know down in the comment section below. But that is our Braun Strowman monster, Stro whatever the hell you want to call him. There he is. Next, guys, it wouldn't be complete without the Buzz Lightyear Rollins. Probably the best custom of the year. It's my favorite custom I've ever made to this point. And it just is so original, so sick. And then you throw in the custom pissed off Seth Rollins head sculpt from BEW. And it's just magical, man. I, I love this. I'm a huge Buzz Lightyear fan, huge Toy Story fan. And putting that together with Rollins, who's one of my favorite talents, it's just so sick. I love this to death. I think it's so sick. And actually, a guy on Instagram, I can't remember his name, but he made a Woody to match this. And he put a laser like armband on there that was super sick. If you're watching right now, bro, huge shout out to you. That was so sick. It was sick as hell. I thought it was so sick. I shared it on my story, so definitely go check that out. If you guys don't follow me, follow me on Instagram. There is a Woody version, and it's it's freaking badass. He even added the back of Buzz Lightyear's, you know, chest piece on the back here. It, it, it just looks good. So we have a Rollins Lightyear right there, which is so fun. I, again, it's, it's just my favorite. But we have a few more customs to get through, guys. Let's get into this one. This is not one that I own, but this AJ Styles is available for sale on eBay, and it is this OC red and blue AJ Styles for the OC, and I had to include it just because I still had it in my possession, so I wanted to go ahead and include it. This is made by Mag Decals. you got the custom forearm band, and it, it, I call it the Fastlane 2018 promo attire because this is what he wore on the poster pretty much, and it looks just like that attire, so I wanted to go ahead and plug it in here and uh, let you guys know what I've renamed that attire. Moving forward, guys, you got to get into AEW with Orange Cassidy. We have a Orange Cassidy Custom Elite that I showcased a while back. It was like the beginning of the year, I think, right in January. It may have been a little bit afterwards, but I'm still working on making him a little shorter, trying to figure out the right formula and stuff. But he does have all these cloth clothes. You got the, you know, the jean jacket, the t-shirt, the pants, the shoes, everything to a T. I love this Orange Cassidy. I think it looks absolutely perfect. Pretty much, it's just a little bit tall that I got to you know, get that in there, fix that up, and once I do that, it will be all good. So we do have Orange Cassidy. Moving forward, we have probably the most recent custom on here, one of at least, and we have the WrestleMania 36 Seth freaking Rollins in the Monday Night Messiah gear. You got the Monday Night Messiah down the sides. I did fix the knee pad. I don't know how the hell I put it on there upside down, but I noticed it after I finished filming that I did put it upside down, and then a ton of you guys pointed out in the comment section. I was like, damn, they actually noticed. Um, unlike myself, who didn't notice it while filming it, but uh, it looks good, man. The solid white tights are so beautiful. You got the SummerSlam 2015 arms on there, which is pretty much the exact same arms that he wore, or the same arms. Of course, he wore the same arms, you dumb jackass. He wore the same gauntlets or, or wrist guards or wrist bands, whatever the hell you want to call these things. They're actually supposed to be CrossFit like wrist supports is basically what they are. Since he does CrossFit, he's CrossFit Jesus. He was really looking like CrossFit Jesus out there at WrestleMania with his Monday Night Messiah gear, but this thrown 
them together with a little cardboard piece. Perfect WrestleMania 36 formula. If you guys want to see how that is made, go watch Action Figure Surgery episode 46. Explains everything. We go through the entire process from the decal. Everything is shown on there, so definitely go check that out. Next, ladies and gentlemen, is the Hell's Gate Kevin Owens, which isn't a lot. You know, it's just some orange over a KO and the kick pads, but it looks great. I love the shirt design. He's still bloodied up. He's only missing his championship because it's over there on the shelf. No, he did not lose his championship. It's just not in this video. Kevin Owens is freaking dominant right now in the Extreme Championship division, and it is continuing. So, I don't know. Who, who the hell knows what happens on the next MDT Live, but Kevin Owens is running rampant right now. Another champion that's been running rampant is Kenny Omega, and he is the Elite Champion, and we do have the Hell's Gate Custom, which is pretty fire. I had a, a lot of fun making this. You got the Kenny Omega in black and gold. You got these flames going down the sides. Kenny Omega decal in the back. Bullet Club uh, belt on there. You also have the flames on the inner. And this was a fun custom to make because it's fantasy attire, you know? I, I didn't want to copy any Kenny Omega formula or any Kenny Omega attire. I really wanted to make my own fantasy gear. And that's probably one of my favorite parts of the pick fed is making different attires and stages and stuff like that. The championships are all custom. Everything about the pick fed is custom made from my brain. So I have a ton of fun with it. It's probably my favorite thing about it is just making all those different things for it. So there's our Kenny Omega. I'll probably leave him like this. I don't want to change it because it's such a cool moment. It's like a defining moments Kenny Omega Elite. One day I may remake it and maybe even give him some custom packaging and talk about the defining moment of him retaining his Elite Championship in the Elimination Chamber. How sick ass would that be in a defining moments box? But until that day arises, that's what we got going on. Another Hell's Gate attire, guys, is the Johnny Gargano Iron Man Championship attire, which is to match the Iron Man Championship. He even has his custom Iron Man Championship vest with the, with the arc reactor in the middle, and it's just such a beautiful attire. I took the regular red Iron Man attire that Johnny Gargano actually wore, and I turned it blue. It kind of, A lot of people call it the rescue attire, which I wouldn't blame you, but the whole emphasis on the attire was supposed to be that it matched, you know, the Iron Man championship that uh, he was going after from Vindication. Second to last, or third to last custom we have, guys, is the custom 2020 NXT heel Finn Balor, and it looks so good, man. I love this custom, dude. This, this is so beautiful. Made by BEW from head to toe. I knew as soon as I saw his, I wanted to make my own, or commission my own. I didn't make this. I'm not nearly as good as that man over there, but he's got all his tattoos. He's got his custom trunks. He's got the hand tat. He's got the custom head sculpt. This is a beautiful looking Finn, and Finn is one of my favorite talents in the entire world to this day, and he uh, he had to be found his home in my collection. You know, I have like 60-something Rollins and 60-something Balors, and uh, the, the, these two are two of my top guys, so I had to include him in the video. What a beautiful figure that I had to be commissioned. And moving on to another Rollins, guys. It is the custom lime green and black Elite 52 fix-up with tag team AJ Styles. It is this Seth Rollins that pretty much I, I made to uh, to match the top talents AJ Styles in the green and black, if you guys have ever seen that figure. Obviously, we did it on action figure surgery. We took the gloves. I do want to acetone over the AJ or paint that in black put Rollins or an SR on the gloves to, you know, fully make it come around because you don't want to put AJ on there, but the biggest thing is painting over the blonde hair with this lime green and glow in the dark to match the rest of the attire, the Tron-inspired attire that Seth Rollins is rocking here in the Elite 52. I'd really like to get a top talent Seth Rollins again to get the belt buckle on there, but that's really not a hard sell. All you have to do is uh, switch the arms and the head scan onto the top talent, so not really a big deal. Anything I can switch out at any given moment, but I was really happy with the way that turned out and even if you didn't want the gloves on there I could interchange them because these are the removable switchable hands and I could put regular hands in there if I didn't want the gloves and I could make my own fantasy gear Rollins if I didn't want him to be a tag team with AJ so there is that right there really enjoyed that and the last custom that we're going to show here today guys the best custom probably of uh, 2020 probably the best custom in my collection it's definitely up there I would say it is the custom that I got from BEW the Willow the Wisp Jeff Hardy that is so freaking sick. I love this figure. It's one of my favorite figures in the collection. You got the custom mask sculpted, hand painted, all from BEW. It looks perfect. We use that battle pack head sculpt. So he has the, you know, the grimacing face from all the promos and the images and, and just the freakiness of Willow. It's so perfect. Using that Survivor Series hair piece with the dreads. He sculpted some extra 
sure he's got the mask. He's got the custom shirt, the sleeveless. He even hand painted the tattoo down the arm right here with the black arm sleeves. And then I gave him the trench coat or the black trench coat. The only thing he's missing is the umbrella, which maybe one day I can add from, uh, you know, one of the best, you know, custom shirt makers ever. I can't remember. It's like custom 48 Studios or 46 Studios or something. But that is pretty much every best custom from 2020. We got a little, uh, you know, we got a nice little collection right here. We, we got a beautiful looking collection. I can't wait to add to it. I'm sure by December when we remake this video and do the best custom figures of 2020, all of these will be included, included with all the rest of them that we make from here on out until the end of 2020. But again, guys, 2020 is going to get better. I truly believe we are going to get on the other side of this and come out on top. We are truly approaching the, you know, the getting better phase of this thing and we are going to come together and we're going to make it and I will be here to entertain you all along the way while you're quarantined, while you're chilling at the house, you know, you're feeling down in the dumps, you know, I'll come back, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll come up to that titula and I shmi shmoo lift you up out of that thing. That's a new t-shirt design. But anyways, guys, I'm going to be getting the hell out of here because my knees are cold. I don't know why the hell this room's freezing for some reason, but that does it for today's video. Let me know your favorite custom from the video down in the comment section below. I'd really appreciate it. If you have any custom ideas, for sure, let me know down in the comment section too. I would love to hear them. I may, you know, I may get in, in, the, in the lab and work on them. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My name is Toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.